Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. We just finished the third special episode featuring Sunflora. Prior to that, we were told to get back to normal and carry on with regular missions while Dusk Noir handles Grovile. I don't know how I feel about not being able to help out, but I'm happy to get back to doing some regular missions. Kind of get back into the grind of the game. It's something I do quite enjoy. So we got quite a few different missions here. We got some S tier missions here, which might be interesting. But I do wanna, I do wanna complete some of the missions that we had before. So I've picked up those two in Waterfall Cave since uh, we already had some missions in Waterfall Cave before. So we're gonna give these a go now. We're gonna revisit these missions that we struggled with the first time. That is what we're going to do today, and I'm going to remember to bring a decoy orb this time. I think we are stronger now, we should be able to handle it without too much trouble. Okay, so during my preparations, I opened some boxes, and we got three more exclusive items, as well as a TM for Brick Break, which is really, really exciting. So we're going to start off by having a look and seeing if Krogunk has anything for us. An Elector hat, a Guard hat, Eager Brooch, Vivid Silk, Sand Scarf. I don't think any of these are useful for us. No, that's unfortunate. I didn't actually check the Elector Claw, but I don't think it will be. No, it's for Electabuzz. That's unfortunate, so there are no items we can exchange with Krogunk today. But that's okay, we'll keep stocking up on exclusive items so that we are ready and prepared to trade when we need to. So, we got a TM for Brick Break. Teaches the move Brick Break, which shatters, reflect, or light screen as well as inflicting damage. Now, this screen doesn't tell us how much damage and what its hit ratio is like, so I don't know just by looking whether it's better than Force Palm. But I can learn it, and I'm considering teaching it to myself, but I don't know for sure whether it's the right move. So if anyone could let me know, give me some advice on that, that'd be fantastic. As for now, we're just gonna store it away. And the last thing we're going to do before heading off to Waterfall Cave is... We are gonna make some gummy drinks. But before we do that, there's a Magby here. If it isn't Team Dice, I had something I wanted to ask you. I'd like you to help Magmar. I just can't do it by myself. Please, I'm counting on you. Apple Woods. Hmm. Hmm, it's a B rank. We could probably take that. Yeah, we'll take that, sure. We could go to Apple Woods maybe another time. There's a Sneasel here. <laughs> I found a so-called secret room earlier. Huh? Where was it? Ha! <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you that. Well, it was a secret room, after all. Wouldn't be a secret if you told everyone. Alright, so we're gonna make some gummy drinks. We are gonna use this Sky Gummy. For Ego. Ego drank the Sky Gummy Olay. An indescribably wonderful flavor, a special blend for the discerning Pokemon. Ego's IQ went up significantly, and special attack rose by one. Huh? What? IQ increased too. Ego drank the Sky Gummy Broth. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. IQ went up significantly, special defense rose by one. Ego drank the Sky Gummy Soda. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. IQ went up significantly, defense rose by one. So, no new traits, but that's okay. I'll take the stat boosts. And we have a yellow gummy, so we're going to give that to Omnis. Omnis drank the yellow gummy puree. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Omnis' IQ went up significantly. Special attack rose by one. Alright, and that'll do it. Looks like we're all set to go. Wait a second. Did I remember to take all the jobs? I did, but did I remember my decoy orb? 
I don't think I did. Alright, I won't make the same mistake twice. I remembered to pick up the decoy orb, and now let's head out to Waterfall Cave. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> That's a shop straight away. So there's a grass gummy here and an orange gummy. Orange gummy is for fighting types, right? Yeah. Hmm, now I only have a thousand poke. So what I'm gonna do is gonna run around the dungeon and see if I can find enough poke so that I can buy both of those gummies, since one will be useful for Francis and one for myself. It's a bit of a stretch to see if I can find 600 poke in this one floor, but I'll give it a try. Ah, it's nice to be back in Waterfall Cave. I do like this place. We'll see if we can recruit a few new Pokemon. And it would be nice to be in a dungeon that isn't full of traps. I couldn't find enough Poke to buy both gummies, so we're just gonna buy the Grass Gummy. If I can stop pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. So yeah, we're just gonna buy the Grass Gummy since it has more value. I think IQ is more valuable on party members as opposed to my playing character. So we'll pass on the orange gummy for now. And we'll take the grass gummy instead. That's fine. Hey, another grass gummy. Nice. I guess I could have bought the orange gummy then. Oh well, hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. About the only twenty twenty thing about my eyesight. Ooh, Rock Slide. Oh, I kind of expected that to do more than one damage. Yeah, it's kind of weird being back in such a low-level dungeon after having quite a few pretty tough dungeons in a row recently. An orange gummy! Nice! Alright, I'm happy with that. I need to remind myself of what my objectives are. Alright, so our next floor will be the fight against Shingling. Wanted Outlaw spotted! You've fallen into my trap! Here's the monster house. It's alright, I'm prepared this time. Let's use the Petrify Orb. And I actually also brought a Vile Seed. Oh no! No! Was I facing Grimer? I've made a huge mistake. Oh well. Ominous oh, Screw to level 29! It can learn a new move. Thunderfang, hello! Inflicts damage on the target, may also apply Paralysis or Cringe. I feel like that's stronger than... Spark. Hmm. I don't know if I can... I feel like Thunderfang is just an upgrade from Spark, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delink them, we're gonna replace Spark with Thunderfang, and then we will re... Whoops. Yes, that is okay. So we're gonna relink those when we get out of the dungeon. Nice, okay, well I wasted that vile seed, but that's okay, that's not a problem. Wait. I'm attacking in all the wrong directions right now. It's because I keep pressing that button. My buttons are all mixed up right now. Let's... Now I'm quick attacking the chingling. Oh dear. Yep, I'm a little rusty it would appear. But Growl gets so much value here. Even though everything's paralyzed or petrified at the moment. Oh, they're not anymore though. Okay, let's... You know what I did last time that was a massive mistake was that I tanked the Chingling. I remember the Chingling is a psychic type. So, I'm gonna let Omnis tank the Chingling. And I think we might be best off using another orb here just to save time. Because these turns are really long when everyone moves. 
Let's use the Fossil Orb here. Nice. We'll move up here. I just want to get everyone into a position where we can be effective. Now let's bite that chingling. Yes! Knocked out Outlaw Chingling. You've completed a mission. No, we're not done yet. Still got a bunch more missions to do. Right then, let's... Let's just force palm this thing. Get these out of the way as quickly as possible. Hey, Psyduck wants to join your team. Ah, uh, okay, sure, why not? Let's give you a nickname. We're gonna call it Aurum, because that is the Latin word for gold, I believe. And you can go back to the guild. We don't need you on the team at the moment. All right, let's finish off the rest of this monster house. I suppose to save a little bit of time, what we could do is turn Francis's status moves off here. We could probably keep it that way for the whole dungeon since leech life is enough to knock out pretty much everything here. There we go, I think we're done. Right, now we just need to find the stairs. And here are our stairs. Yay! Destination 4, and we're back to the nice waterfall cave music. So, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone for the great advice you've been leaving on the videos recently. As we locate Starly and rescue him, or deliver the item, whatever it was that we were doing. Whoop, no, I don't want to leave. So I would like to take a moment to thank everybody who's been leaving the fantastic feedback on the videos recently. So many great tips, things that I can really, really use to not only make my experience of the game better, but make your viewing experience better. Uh, let's see. What was I going to do? I was going to check my objectives. So we're going down to the seventh floor to find a brown gummy. Hey, found the brown gummy. Still one more mission to do, though. So let's keep on moving on. All right, destination floor for our final objective. Let's see. Hey, Omnis, come back. Here we go. You found Noctowl. And I believe that means we're done. So let's get out of here. We did it! Zzz, you brought Chingling in for a rest. Zzz. This is the bounty on the outlaw's head. Thank you for your cooperation. Zzz. Thank you for delivering the decoy orb. Please accept this 2000 poke. I want you to have my reviver seed. Thank you for getting me the brown gummy. Please accept this 2500 poke. Thank you for rescuing me. Please accept this 2500 poke. I want you to have my vile seed. We got back the vile seed that we wasted. Alright, that was a successful day of missions. Are you still awake, Ekla? 
I have to admit that today was full of surprises. The great Dusk Noir's talk about coming from the future, that was mind-boggling. Dusk Noir pursued Grovile from the future to our world. He came to apprehend that wicked Grovile, and to take him back to the future. That's why the job of capturing Grovile is his responsibility. We have to trust Dusk Noir about this. To be honest, I would like to capture Grovile ourselves, but I'm not up to the task yet. We don't have any choice but to depend on Dusk Noir after all. Ekla? I guess you're asleep. I better get to sleep too. It would be great if Grovile gets caught soon. Good night, Ekla. Alright then. Well, that's gonna do it for now. In the next part, we're gonna continue on, no doubt doing some more small missions before proceeding with the story. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then!